Magic, dear brothers and sisters, is a contract between the magician and one or more of the devils, the shayateen, where the magician, he does acts of worship for the shayateen in return for the shayateen doing acts of obedience for him. So the magician, he worships them, prostrates to them, he glorifies them, he humiliates himself in front of them in order that they will then begin to work for him. So with magic, what we have to understand is that it displays many of the same characteristics as jinn possession. Because when that magician, he does these acts of worship to these jinn, those jinn are then going to go and possess the individual. They're going to go and then try and harm this individual, try and carry out the reason and the mission with which they were sent. So it's gonna have a lot of the same characteristics. Signs of magic. Magic usually it will affect one particular aspect. For example, your marriage. So somebody has done magic on you to try and break up your marriage and ruin your marriage. So now it's not necessarily going to affect your work life. It may not affect your health. However, it will affect your marriage or somebody he wants you to lose your job or to lose your health. Maybe your health will start to deteriorate, but your marriage will be okay. So with magic, it depends on the aims and the objectives of the individual who got the magic done. So if he gets magic done to affect your marriage, then this was what will be affected. Sometimes, however, a person will just say, I don't ever want to see person X. I don't ever want to see him happy. I want to see his life ruined. In that situation, then you may be suffering from one or more different things. Maybe bad health and a bad marriage. Maybe you have a good marriage, but you have problems with your health, problems with your work. So again, these are just guidelines where we can try and ascertain perhaps there's a problem and I should seek more knowledge and start seeking some more advice. Likewise with dreams. Dreams are a very clear indication that a person may be suffering with magic or with possession which was the result of magic. So if you're constantly dreaming of dogs, if you're constantly dreaming of snakes, if you're constantly dreaming of spiders, if you're constantly dreaming about blood, if you're constantly seeing yourself in a grave or around blood and you're seeing these types of things in your dreams, then it may be that you have serious issues with regards to magic, with regards to jinn possession. So in that situation, I would advise you to make ruqya or to seek ruqya. Likewise, a dislike of Islam, a dislike of the Quran. Why? Because the jinn is there. Remember that magic, it almost always in the vast majority of cases, 99.9%, .9%, it comes with jinn. You're going to find these type of blocks. Somebody has done magic on me to prevent me from getting married. I'm going to find like a block on marriage. Whenever I consider somebody for marriage, everything is going fine. Then suddenly out of the blue, I have a change of heart. And now when I think about getting married, I feel sick and I feel anxious and maybe I begin to vomit, etc. This is more than likely somebody doesn't want you to get married. Somebody's put a block on you getting married or a block on your mind or a block on your health or a block on your wealth. All of these different things, there may be signs and symptoms of jinn possession. Likewise, suffering from illnesses that doctors simply cannot explain or suffering with illness after illness after illness. This may be a sign of magic. So for example, I had a case where I was told by the jinn during the ruqya, I've given her cancer. So then a few days later, this individual came back and said, I found a lump on my chest and I've had this examined by the doctors and they say that it looks like a cancerous lump. I said, look, by Allah, I'm telling you, this is not a cancerous lump. Do not go and get chemotherapy, etc. Rather treat this with the book of Allah. Treat this with the sunnah of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Alhamdulillah, within a couple of weeks, this lump it had disappeared and there was no need to go for chemotherapy, etc, etc. Now I'm not saying if you find a lump, then that means you're possessed. But what we are saying is that sometimes these illnesses, they have a direct link with jinn possession and with magic. You may find mood swings. The individual, they may have extreme mood swings, go from being extremely happy to being extremely sad in an instant. The blinking of an eye, they go from laughing to crying in an instant. Or you may find Dawis. 
So you may find taweez in your house, something that you didn't put there. You may find blood on your doorstep, or you may find blood in your home. You may find animal eggs or chicken's eggs which have been smashed on your doorstep. You may find salt on your doorstep. You may find a dead bird in your garden, or you may find a dead chicken which has no head, which has been beheaded. You may find all of these different things. And in reality, you know, if you find like a dead animal and there is magic involved, then this is the animal that they would have sacrificed to the jinn, seeking to come close to him and then they've thrown that into your house and then obviously the problems are going to begin. Likewise, specifically with regards to marriage. So there might be a sudden dislike of the spouse. There might be a sudden dislike of your husband or of your wife. A physical hatred towards them. You know, I've had lots of people, they say, when I see my wife, I physically want to kill her. When I see my husband, I physically want to kill him. I had one situation where a brother came and he said, when I look at my wife, I see an animal's head on my wife's shoulders. So of course, if you're looking at your wife and you see an animal looking back at you, then of course this is going to freak you out. You're not going to want to be in this person's company. You're going to want to run far away. And of course, eventually this is going to lead to separation. I'm just giving you some of the main signs, some of the main symptoms. So perhaps something has been going on with you for a while now and you don't know or you didn't know. So this will cause you to go and to research a little bit further, to go and call a Raqi who is upon the Quran and the Sunnah and then you can start your journey from there.